morning and welcome to SI Lives AM with Alex. I'm Alex Salmeri. It's a rainy Friday, but we made it through another week. Here are today's top headlines. New York City is nearing 50,000 confirmed coronavirus cases, bringing Staten Island to 2,822 with 105 deaths so far. Mayor de Blasio is urging that all New Yorkers wear face protection when they go out in public. In his daily press conference on Thursday, he stressed the use of bandanas and scarves in order to save the face masks for medical personnel and the EMS. As we saw in the beginning of the week, the NYPD is struggling with the amount of workers out sick due to COVID-19. Now, other city agencies such as the FDNY, Con Edison, and the Department of Transportation are struggling with the same issues. With an overload of 911 calls, EMS workers are to stop taking patients in cardiac arrest to hospitals if resuscitation on the scene isn't successful. And on the bright side, here is the story of a nurse who traveled three hours to help with the rapid spread of COVID-19. Luke Adams, a critical care nurse, arrived in Staten Island and worked eight 12-hour shifts at the Staten Island University Hospital, all while sleeping in the back of his rented SUV. Adams said, I have two small kids back home and I want to be able to say to them, if you have the ability to help people in need, you have to do it. If any of you guys are looking to help, we do have ways to make donations and more about volunteer opportunities available on our website. Visit silive.com to learn more about all of these stories. Feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. Have a great weekend. Stay home, stay safe, and stay tuned for more updates.